Here's the USB side of the connector and the Ethernet side of the connector. What we're going to do is plug the Ethernet side into the K4 portable unit. And then we're going to take the Ethernet side, and you can't see it on the screen, but over here, got the laptop like you saw earlier in the equipment video. And we'll plug it right in there. I'm going to go grab the battery. And I'm going to show you guys, this is what it looks like. Grab the adapter. The red side, underneath the red, is marked with a green dot, just the same as the green dot on the back of the connector. That's to show they go together. Pops right in. What we'll do, grab the K4 side, and find the right labeled 6-volt connector. And it should plug right in there. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and turn the system on. It'll power up. If you don't touch anything, it'll do its regular optimal warm up. That's actually what you want it to do. Come back over here to the flow meter, and I want to push the fan out just to show you guys what it looks like. Take a look at the cylinder that it goes into. All right. Let's find a good frame to look at. Right here, I know I'll show you with my fingers later in the video, but I wanted to just scroll over it. You'll see a little indent right there. Now, the cylinder almost drops off, and that there's a little flap here, and the same type of flap on this side. You just can't see it. Just remember that drop off for later. See, I'll show you the drop off and the flap. Close up, not so focused, sorry about that. And what you do is push the side with the drop off in so that the cap can come onto it. And now this part can get a little bit tricky because this top part will fit right on easy, but when you go to put an adapter on, if you haven't left enough space underneath the flap, of the turbine or the fan, it won't connect. And so you'll just have to pop the top back off, give it a little bit more room, and connect it. I'll connect the, the turbine. There's the air sampling line and the actual hard connection to the K4 unit. We'll start with the hard connection. That's not the right connection. Come over to the other side. And this one's a little bit trickier, so you're going to want to look on the inside, just like you saw me doing, before you fit it in there. Try not to twist it around too much when you're fiddling with it. And we'll take the gas sampling line, plug it right over that metal cylinder, and make sure it fits tightly. Alright, here's your first adapter. I want you to see how there's a screen inside of there. There's a screen and it's unevenly placed. It's more towards the side I'm showing you now. And so what you're going to do is this adapter is going to go right on the 3 liter syringe. The shorter side with the screen closest to it is going to push towards the syringe. Then what we'll do is we'll grab the adapter that's meant for the fan right here and we're going to plug it over. And so, like I was explaining to you earlier, I didn't leave enough room for the flaps. So you'll see, I'll take off the top and push the fan in to give a little bit more room or give. And once that's complete, you'll see that I'll push the adapter side onto the fan, and it fits all perfect, just like that. Push that onto the adapter we just put onto the syringe. This sampling line, it fits right into that little hole right there. You'll push it in. Just want to show you because you'll be taking it out for the next step. And that's how you set all your equipment up.